So the Lord said, give nothing to you guys because you're the wicked. That's right. right? You're Edomites. That's right. So we don't have nothing for you. Right. right? You're from the seed of Satan. That's right. Do you feel sorry for the enslavement that your people have done to the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans in this Americanized um, infrastructure? Do you feel sorry for it? Yes or no? Absolutely. Now, do you believe in God? That's questionable. That's questionable. Why is that questionable? Why, why is it questionable for you to believe in God? Why does it matter? Hold on, hold, let her answer. Are you defending her? Let her answer. Why is it questionable for you to believe in God? I just haven't, I haven't had an experience in my life that has led me to believe that God is real. Well, well guess what? Has. Everyone has an experience, something that brings them to God, something that wants them to build that relationship. I haven't had that, and maybe one day I will, but I haven't yet. But that doesn't mean that I can't feel sorry for people who have been mistreated, who have been ostracized, who have had their voices taken away. That doesn't mean that I can't care about those people. I okay, now, now, okay, now listen to this. The book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 15. Right and it reads, because you have said, the Lord has raised up prophets and the Lord said, Raised up prophets in Babylon. So God raised up the so-called. Look at these guys up here, right? And what, hold on, listen. These are the sons of the heavenly Father. The Lord raised these men up to be what kings and priests. Do you believe these guys are kings and priests? I don't know. You don't know. I mean, what you mean? How would you, how, how would you not know? So you don't believe that the so-called black man is better than any other man on the face of the earth? Good. I'm asking you a question. What's your name? What's your name again? Lizzie, I'm asking you a question. What race of people, right, are the most athletic, the most influenced, the, the better at music, better at science? What race of people? Well, I think that's pretty obvious. Black people are. Okay, black people are. So listen, listen, are they so-called black people? These men up here. Okay, so give me the book of Revelation chapter 5 and verse 10. Hold on, I'm answering your question. Wait one second. Wait one second. Yeah, I'll be a saying right. you, bro. You got to get out. Revelation chapter 5, starting at verse 10. And it reads, And has made us unto our God kings and priests. Who are these men? Kings and priests. Those niggas are thugs. Kings and priests. Black men. Kings and priests. Do you look at these men that are regular black men, or do you look at us as kings and priests? I don't know if they're kings. You don't know. So guess what? So let me so let me ask you a question. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. You're going into slavery. Right, give me Revelation chapter 13 and verse 9. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 9. Give me Job chapter 27 and verse 16. Now, what do you mean you're trying to give me a chance? Listen to this. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity. Now, hold on. We're going to have a conversation. But answer my question first. Did so called white people put so called black people into slavery? Yes or no? Say what? All right, so listen to this. He that lead it into captivity. God said he raised up prophets in Babylon. What you don't know is that you're living in Babylon. Right. It is America. Right. These men were raised up as prophets, right? What you don't know, you probably, you know, your friends may call these guys niggers and black people behind closed doors, right. but these actually are kings and priests. That's right. So God said to the prophets to tell the nation that what? Select. He that lead it into captivity. You admitted that so-called white people put so-called black people in slavery. Now the so-called black man is actually an Israelite. He that leadeth and puts those Israelites in slavery, what did the Lord say? Shall go into captivity. Shall what? Shall go into captivity. For the corner of earth, shall go into captivity. So guess what, Lizzie? You have to get ready for slavery. Right? And you need to stop eating those nasty pork hot dogs. Right. Because you're overweight. That's right. right. You're overweight. That's right. You need to stop stop eating it. Right. And you shouldn't have bought that on the Sabbath day either. That's right. Right? So the Lord said, He that what? Uh -oh. He that leads into captivity, captivity shall go into captivity. He that kill with the sword must be killed with the sword. 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 That's the word of the Lord, man. And if you don't like that, you got a problem with God, man. If you don't like what just happened, you got the problem with your whole while your whole shot, man. Because that's the word of the Lord. But guess what? This whole earth, this whole earth is drunk, man. Give me, drop what y'all got. Give me the book of Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 7. Right? Give me Jeremiah 51 and 7. Give me the book 
of Isaiah chapter 41 and go to verse 17. Yeah, right? You're ashamed of yourself, brother. You know what I'm saying, brother? We put the you know gay up, man up, brother. Gay, right? Man up, man. Hey, everybody on three, tell that brother you're man up. One, two, three. Man up. One, two, three. Man up. One, two, three. Man up. The so-called black man needs to man up in America, That's man. Right. I mean, what the hell is wrong with you, man? Right, you freaked out off of Esau's lust and drunkenness, right. off of his wine, off of his fornication. Right. right? Can't you see what's going on, man? Can't you see that they're strategically um, 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 trying to discombobulate just you? Right. right? They're only targeting you, you so-called black man. Hey, brother, did you know that you was a target by the so-called white man? You said probably. So don't you know that being out here right now is for your destruction? Did you know that? You didn't know that, did you? Brother, what's your nationality? Do you believe in God? Do you have one second for one Bible verse? You don't got a second for a Bible verse. You don't got no second for a Bible verse. One verse, brother. Come on, brother. Brother. Right here, brother. Now, what's your name? Red. Red? All right, now, Red. Give me the book. Give me the book of Judges. All right. Let's go to chapter three and let's go to verse number seven. Now, brother Red, according to the Bible, you wouldn't be an African American man, but that's what they call you in the society, right? I'm gonna show you the name that God gave you, predicated upon the punishments of what God did to your race of people in the Bible. Does that make sense? Now, listen to this. Judges chapter three, verse seven. And it reads, and the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord. The children of Israel are God's chosen people. What's doing evil in the sight of the Lord? Like breaking his commandments, right? What do you think God did to his chosen people for breaking the commandments? What do you think he did? Punishment. Now read on. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord and forgot the Lord. So they forgot God. They stopped dealing with the Heavenly Father. Read on. Forgot the Lord their God and served by them right. and the groves. So they started serving other gods. Check out what God did to his people. Verse 8, therefore the anger of the Lord was hot against what? hot against Israel. So God said, okay, you want to disobey me? I'm going to get hot against you. Right? Read on. And he sold them. And God did what? And he sold them. He freed them. And he sold them. He did what? And he sold them. What race of people were sold? Brother? What race of people were sold. You said what? Black people. So according to the Bible, what did God call them? Did he call them the black people? What did he call them? Nobody called them. Don't know what he called them. Jump to verse 7 again. Verse 7. And the children of Israel, the black people, children of Israel, Negro, children of Israel. What is the name of the people that God said he sold? Israel. The children of Israel. Right. Now look on this side, brother. These are the 12 tribes of the children of Israel, right? right? That received all the punishments by God. Brother Red, you gotta listen, brother. Whatever is over there, brother, I mean, it'll be waiting for you, brother. Right, this is the living waters right here that's gonna save your life. That's right, that's right. Right, you gotta sober up, brother. That's right. And you gotta man up, right. right? So God said, these are the children of Israel. Look on this side. What's the, first, what's the first tribe up there? Okay, so Judah. What did God say about the tribe of Judah? Okay, give me Jeremiah 14 and 2. Right, the classic. Give me Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. Now, Brother Red, you got to listen to this. Because nobody's going to stop their time to tell you what we're about to tell you. Right? Read that. Jeremiah chapter 14, starting at verse 2. Bring it out. And it reads, Judah morning. What the Lord said? Judah morning. What does it mean to be morning, brother? What? Daylight. No, morning. I'm morning. It's a suffering. What race of people suffering on the earth? All right, Judah, God said that what? Judah wanted, and the gates that were of language. You got gates that set up for protection. The protection lacks, right? Read on. And the gates that were of language, they are black. They are what? They are black. What the Lord said about Judah? They are black. That's in the Bible, Brother Red. So you can't call yourself an African-American man anymore. You have to call yourself an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Does that make sense? Right? So you have to live your life as an Israelite, brother. So you should be asking me, well, how do I live my life like an Israelite? 
Say it again. How do I live my life like an Israel? How do you live your life as an Israelite? Matthew chapter 19 and verse 16. Teach him, Mark. Right? This is how you get the kingdom of heaven, brother. Right? This is how you get salvation. Right? Listen to this. Matthew chapter 19 and verse 16. Bring it out. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? What does Brother Red got to do to receive eternal life? Right? Let's find out what the Lord said. Read on. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is no good but one. That is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, Brother Red, if you want to see the Lord when he comes back, and be on the right hand side and not the left hand side, what does the brother got to do? Keep, Keep the, the commandments. Do what? Keep, Keep the, the commandments. commandments. What did it just say? Name me three commandments. You don't know any commandments. All right, give me Exodus chapter 20. All right, let's give him the first commandment. Exodus chapter 20 and verse, verse 3. That's right. Teacher, Mark. Brother Red. All right, he's going. Give me Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 7. All right? And give me the book. Give me the book of um, 2 Kings. Chapter 17, let's start at verse 13. All right, read that. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, and verse 7. Bring it out. Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand right. that made all the earth drunken. What did it do? That made, made all, all the, the earth, earth drunken. What to Brother Red? That, that made, made all, all the, the earth, earth drunken. drunken. All the earth is drunk, man. Right. I mean, that's all we've seen out here. We've been out here since, what, 8 o'clock? There's been nothing but drunken spirits out here, man. Right. I mean, it's vexing. Right? Nobody's hearkening to the word of the Lord. Right. right? I mean, none of the people that came up, they didn't leave saying, cry me on Right. You know, they didn't say, well, you know, I'm an Israelite. They didn't clap their feet. I mean, what the hell is going on, man? Right. All the earth is drunken. Right? Read on. And you're drunk, too. You're drunk. You got a drunk spirit on you. You got a drunk spirit on you. Yeah, keep walking. Right? Read that again. Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. Right? That made all the earth drunken. That made all the earth drunken. That made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. The nations have drunken of her wine, Therefore, the nations are mad. Therefore, the nations are mad. You guys don't even know what you just brought yourself into. No, I'm down with it. You love what? I love a confrontation with somebody telling me that Jesus would tell me that I should have confrontation about being loved. Okay, so does Jesus love white people? He loves every person on the earth. Every person on the earth. All right, all the, see, you see all these brothers? They want to get in there. You said what? I'm down with this. Now, do you believe in the Bible? I love it. All right, give me Romans chapter 9 and verse 13. Bring it on! You don't care what? I don't care. You don't care what the Bible say, huh? No, I love it. So listen to this. It's the book of Romans, chapter 9, and verse 13. As it is written, the Lord said, as it is written. And hey, you stepping on the sun. You stepping on the sun. Stop, stop stepping on the sun. Now, now listen. Listen. You said that God loves everybody. Sir, can you have some decorum? Do you know what decorum is? Yes. I read that. As it is written, Jacob have I love. But Esau, who is he? But Esau, who is she? But Esau, who are these people walking up? But Esau, have I hated? How does God feel about him? Have I hated? God, what? Have I hated? God said he hates you, and that's in the Bible. What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? What? What are you gonna do? What are you going to do? Give me Job chapter twenty-seven and verse sixteen. You're not getting the mic. You're rejected. You're not getting nothing. Give me Hebrews chapter 12, Give verse 16. Me Hebrews chapter 12, verse 16. No, you're rejected. You're scared. You're scared. God rejected you. That's right? Read that. <laughs> now, Hebrews chapter 12, start at verse 16. Least that be any fornicator. What is he? Least that be any fornicator. That nasty cancer stick in his mouth. Least that be any fornicator. Fornicator. Hey, stop blowing. A profane person. Who? A profane person. Look at him raging. Give me our Psalm chapter 2, verse 1. A profane person. As Esau. As Esau. As Esau. As Esau. Just go away. As Esau. Himself in the flesh, who is Esau? Who saw what Lord saw of me? Saw his birthright, who so he knows that the afterward, when he would have been hurried, the blessed, we all, he was rejected. He was what? He was rejected. 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 He 
supposed to be rejected. You reject it. Your kingdom is done. Nobody's bowing down to white people no more. Well, give me the book of um, Psalm chapter 2 and verse uh, Give the Psalm chapter 2 and verse 1. Why did the heathen reign with the Lord's son? Why did the heathen reign? Why did the heathen reign? Why did the heathen reign? Why is the heathen raging? He's red as blood right now. Why do the what? Why, Why did the heathen reign? And the people imagine and they think. You think he's going to get the victory up here? He's never going to get no victory now. Get them 
as if a man did flee from a lion and they bare met him. Or went into a house and leaned on the wall or hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. And a what? And a serpent bit him. So not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light. So it's going to be peace. Shall it be darkness and not light? Even very dark and no brightness in it. No brightness is coming for you. Right, read that. They on one and one, the bride of the favor, the book of the vision of Nahum, the Elkishite. Yahweh is jealous. Yahweh is jealous. Yahweh is jealous. Yahweh is jealous. God is jealous that you stole America and didn't give it back. Right here. And the Lord Yahweh revenge it. He will do what? And the Lord Yahweh revenge it. And you don't know that God is going to destroy all white people. Right. Salvation for the white man. Right. Give me Isaiah chapter 48 in the last verse. Verse 22. The Lord revenges and is furious. And is furious. And is furious. And is furious. Why is God destroying America right now? Why is God destroying the stock market? Why is God taking all the land in America? Why is God destroying all the white neighborhoods with thunder, with hell, with fire, with floods? Because God hates you, you devil. Right? Give me Isaiah chapter 48, verse 22. But Isaiah 48, 22. There is no peace. Set the hour of who? Set the hour. No peace. Set the hour. Read unto the wicked. Unto who? Unto the wicked. Unto who? Unto the wicked. No peace to the wicked. Right? Look at this. You can't talk, man. Right. Your days of talking are over. Yeah. Right. 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 Give me Nahum chapter 3 and verse 1. Give me Nahum chapter 3 and verse 1. The book of Nahum chapter 3 verse 1. Go to the bloody city. 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 It is all full of lies. And robbery. The brain departed not. The nose of the whip. And the nose of the rally of the wheels. And the pressing horses. And the jumping chariot. The horsemen lifted up both the bright sword and the good and spear. And there is a multitude of slain. There is a multitude of slain. We know. And a great number of carcasses. There is none in of the corpse. They stumble upon the corpse. Because of the multitude of the holders. Of the well favored harlot. The mistress of witchcraft. The witches of who? The witches, the, the witches of witchcraft. The mistress of witchcraft. They sell it nations. Through her whoredoms and families. They sell it nations. White people are known for selling people. If you didn't know what they're well known for, it's for the selling of human beings. And that's in the Bible. Right? That's in the Bible. Right, read on. That sell it nations through her whoredoms. Through his whoredom. Right? And families through her witchcraft. Behold, I am against thee. What the Lord say? Behold, I am against thee. God is against you. We all said the house of who? 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 And I will discover thy skirts. The Lord will discover your skirt. Right, give me Romans chapter 3 and verse 16. Give me Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 1. Give me Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 1. Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 1. Show me. Real short. Give me Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 16. Right, give me Je I need another reader, man. Give me Jeremiah 13 and 16. We got a high level demon up here, man. Wait, read that, man. Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 16. But therefore, all oh, they that devour thee, all oh, they that do what? All oh, they that devour thee, all oh, they that devour the Israelites. You should be remorseful for the sins of your forefathers. You should be remorseful. But you're wicked and evil and lustful. Read. Shall be devoured. What is his days coming to? Shall be devoured. Who's going to make? Shall be devoured. Get salvation. Shall be devoured. Get freedom. Shall be devoured. Devouring is coming to you in your belly, in your mind, in your spirit. Read on. And all thine adversaries shall be. Every one of them shall go into captivity. Shall go into captivity. Shall go into captivity. You will see. When you see a Meshach and Havashah, when all the angels coming and zapping you with fire, brimstone, hell, you're going to see it in that day, man. 
Right, read that. Isaiah chapter 13. You're David. Right, give me wisdom. Isaiah chapter 13. Isaiah chapter 13. You're David. Fuck you, David. God, this is the book of Isaiah chapter 13, verse 1. Look it up. The burden of bearing is heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The book of Isaiah chapter 13, verse 1. The burden of Babylon. What the word say? The burden of Babylon. You're just a Babylonian. Just a bunch of words. Say it again. Say it again. Say what you just said. Just a bunch of what? You want to burn me. Say what you just said. You want to burn You're a coward. Me. You won't say it. You are a Say what you just said. You're a say what you just said. You're a he a coward. He can't even talk, you man. Did you say a bunch of what? A bunch of black what? Say it again. I didn't say shit. He's a cow. He won't say it again. Read that again. You saw that, right? He said a bunch of black. He stopped himself. He's a coward, man. Read that. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 1. The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Moses did see. Verse 2. Lift thee up a banner upon the high mountains. Lift thee up a banner upon the high mountains. Read. Hey, exalt the voice of them. Exalt the hands of them. Exalt the voice of them. He says, show them. We show them by exalting the voice of them through the word of the Lord. Right? Back in the 60s, the 40s, we wasn't able to read the precepts to the Edomites to devour them with the word of God. But guess what? You living in the days of salvation. You living in the third day where the Lord is raising up the prophets and destroying the wicked. Right? Read. Shake the head. Do what? Shake the head. Do what? Shake the head. Do what the hell? 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 Shake the head. Shake the head. Read the day. Make go into the gates of the noble. You better call police for backup. Call, call John Elway, call the uh, damn Bill Clinton, call Joe Osteen, right? Call the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, because you're going to need help, right? Because you can't do it alone, right? You low-level demon, right? Read. Verse 3, I have commanded my sanctified ones, us, read. I have also called my mighty one. Who is me? My mighty one. Oh, these weak men. My mighty one. Who was built for this, man? This is spiritual warfare. Right. Spiritual warfare. Your mouth isn't equipped enough for the mic. Your teeth gonna fall out. Right, me? For my anger. For my who? For my anger. anger. For my what? For my anger. You miss your real teeth, don't you? Yeah, I know you miss it. You miss it. Right, read on. Even them that rejoice in my highness. Even them that rejoice in my highness. You read Romans chapter 3 and verse 12. Your days are numbered. You can't speak no more. Uh, right? Speak, it's the book of wisdom. Wisdom of Solomon. Chapter 5 and verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stay with great boldness. This shall the what? This shall the righteous man stay with great boldness. This shall the righteous man stay with great boldness. Read. Before the face of such as have afflicted him. Before the face of these white devils that afflicted us, man, for over 400 years. This is in the Bible. Right, read up. Oh man, no account. I bet, I bet you won't say F God. I bet you won't say F the Father. Say it. Say it. I won't. Say you're a punk coward. I made no account of his labor. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. With what? With terrible fear. And shall be amazed at the strange, strangeness of his salvation. So when you say you want to see it, you're going to see the strangeness of our salvation. Read on. So far beyond all that they look for. Right, and and, and, and you're you gonna you gonna say what well, there? They did say I didn't know it was gonna happen like this though. They did say I'm gonna get put to death. Now I'm gonna throw a heavy sea in your house when my body slashed in half. Damn, I didn't know it was gonna happen that fast. Wait, read on. Hey, hey, we pity and groody for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves. They was he who we had sometimes in dilation. These are the people that we put in slavery. We had them in derision. We had them in the lowest state. Right? Read on. And a proverb of reproach. We fools. What is he? We fools. Is the white people? We fools. We what? We fools. Foolish devils. Read. Accounted his life madness. See that? You fools, man. Right? Give me the book of Job. 
Right? Yeah. Give me Joe. Yeah. Right, chapter 30 and verse 5. Right. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 16. Yeah. That's the whole thing that devoured thee. Right, drop that. Right, give me Joe 30 and 5. Give me Romans chapter 3 and verse 12. Come. Chapter 30 and verse 5. What did you just call them? Monkeys. The so called white man just called us monkeys. Right? You see that? Say it again. Say it. They were driven forth from among men. They cried after them as, a, as after a thief to dwell in the cliffs of the valleys, in the caves of the earth, and in the rocks. Among the bushes they braved. The bushes they braved. Read on. Under the nails they were gathered together. Now look at this nasty woman crying. Look at this nasty woman crying. Right, with those demon tears that are coming out of her eyes. Read on. They were children of food. What is he? They were children of food. What is she? They were children of food. What is both of them together? They were children of food. Those fun equitable people. They were children of food. Children of fools. Read on. Yay. Children of base men. Baby, you're a low level. You're a low level white man. Read on. They were viler than the earth. What are they? They were viler than the earth. Viler than the earth. You be sharing your woman. Your you buddy can sleep with you your woman. She can have sex with a dog. You be having sex with men. You be getting popped by her. Children of fools, man. Based men. Stolen in the earth. And you be having sex with your sister, too. And now, I am their sword. I am their bearer. They abhor me. They flee fast from me. And spare not to spit in my face. Spare not to spit in our face. Apologize to your sister for touching her when you was young. Apologize to her. Apologize to her your sister for abusing her. Wait, like real. Because he has loosed my cord and afflicted me. They have also let loose the burden before me. Upon my right hand rise the youth. They push away my feet. Yeah, on that, right? Read that. Romans yeah. chapter 3, verse 12. Yeah. They are all gone out of the way. They he was going out of the way. Look at him. Getting more evil and evil. And you're not going to do it. And the Lord just sent the angel to tell you.